forming two digit numbers using bundles of 10 place value. Children, today in this video, we will learn to form two digit numbers using bundles of 10. Children, in the last video, we learned to make groups of tens and write the numbers in tens and ones boxes. Today we will carry forward that topic. Look, here are some jars filled with marbles. Let us count. The first jar has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 marbles. This means that this is one group of 10s. Billy, you count the marbles in the second jar. Yes, ma'am. In the second jar, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 marbles. Yes, that is correct. So, there are 10 and 10, 20, two groups of 10s. Now look, here in the third jar, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10 marbles. So, this makes it 10 and 10, 20, 20 and 10, 30. Three groups of tens. Now, Lily, you count the marbles in the fourth jar. In the fourth jar, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten marbles. Absolutely right. So these are ten and ten, twenty. Twenty and ten, thirty. 30 and 10, 40. Four groups of 10s. This fifth jar also has 10 marbles. This makes it 10 and 10, 20. 20 and 10, 30. 30 and 10, 40. 40 and 10, 50. Five groups of 10s. Look, the sixth jar also has 10 marbles. This makes it 10 and 10, 20. 20 and 10, 30, 30 and 10, 40, 40 and 10, 50, 50 and 10, 60. So, these are 6 groups of 10s. Now, you tell me Lily, how many groups of 10s do we have? We have 6 groups of 10 marbles each. That's right. This is why. We will write 6 in the tens box here. Now, you tell me, Billy, how many marbles are there in the 7th jar? Ma'am, the 7th jar is empty. Yes, there is not even one marble in the 7th jar. So, we have to write 0 in the 1's box. Now, we have 6 in the tens box, which means 60, and 0 in the ones box, which means there is not even one marble there. So there are 60 marbles in total. Understood, children? A group of 10 objects is called one group of tens. Similarly, whatever is the number of groups you have, you have to write that number in the tens box. And when there is not even one object in the group, you have to write zero in the ones box. We, we understood. understood. Now look, in this empty seven jar, I am putting some marbles in it. Now tell me Lily, how many marbles are there in total? Here in the first six jars, there are groups of ten marbles each. That means there are 6 groups of 10 marbles each. That is why in the tens box, we have to write 6. Well done, Lily. Now in the 7 jar, we have put 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 
6, 7 and 8 marbles. So, in the 1's box, we have to write 8. Well done, Billy. But my question was, how many marbles are there in total? Here, in the 10's box, there is 6, which means 60 marbles. And in the 1's box, there is 8. That means there are 8 marbles. That is why there are 60 and 8, 68 marbles in total. Yes, well done. Now look children, I will teach you how to expand 68 into 2 parts. 68 has 6 tens and 8 ones. So 6 tens means we have to write 60 and 8 ones means we have to write 8 here. Come on Billy, now try to expand and tell the numbers written here on the board. 28 has 2 tens and 8 ones. So 28's expansion is 20 and 8. Very good children. Now see you in the next class. Children, in this video, you learn to expand 2 digit numbers and write it in boxes of tens and ones. In the next video, through examples, we will learn how to expand two-digit numbers and understand it well.